So welcome back. We are taking the conversation a little bit deeper. So I want to give you a quick little setup, and that is if you look at the history of our consumers, every time that a company came out and met the demand of the next generation's wants and needs while keeping up with their current wants and needs of their consumer, they always took over in massive market shifts and when industries shift. So in those times when it's happened, you guys can look back uh, with Lee Iacocca from the Must Ford Mustang to the uh, minivan with Chrysler. There have been times where when you meet the demand of the generation, that is what sets your company up for massive wild success. So talking more about the demand and need of the generation coming at us right here is specifically to unify and to streamline this real estate process. Now I'll tell you why. This is what Gary says. So right now, an average consumer is somewhere between 10 to 12% in commissions and fees to purchase a home. Now, obviously, that's the realtor. It's also title, mortgage, uh, maybe even home warranty, etc. By the time you add up all of those costs and fees, that's about the cost and expense of what it takes to purchase a home. What Gary is forecasting is that it will go from 10 to 12% to 7%. And it's because of what the consumer is looking for and what the consumer demands. Most of you that are listing agents, you see this happening already. You have companies like Redfin advertising heavily 1% listing fees. Uh, we have companies like Door, uh, even a former Keller Williams person, offering a flat rate of a few thousand bucks to list your property with full service. We're seeing a lot more of this and the market is becoming more competitive in this than even when we've seen in the past. So with that being said, there is a, a race to basically reduce the cost of purchasing a home. And I will tell you, it's being driven by the consumer. The consumer is looking to reduce their cost to pay for a home. So ultimately, in order to reduce the cost, what has to happen? The service has to be streamlined. So let me explain. For those of you, last time you bought a car, I just bought a car recently, you show up to the car dealer, you look online, you find what vehicle you want, you show up to the dealer, you negotiate a price, uh, it's never the price you wanna pay that's on the sticker, you negotiate the price, you sit down, you go over financing options in another room, you review all of your paperwork, you sign, press hard, three copies, and then you bring your car back after the purchase to have your vehicle serviced. Technically what's happening is you have three separate companies under one roof. And your dealer is the only person you need to interact with to keep and manage your vehicle. And then ideally you bring it back long-term and you just keep purchasing vehicles from the same dealer. That's the idea behind it. And because they unify those services in one place, guess what happens? You can, you can pay less money. You can save money. Ultimately, this is what the consumer is driving. So in order to do this, this is where things you'll see like, Keller Mortgage is the start of this for us. The mortgage industry, you can ask any one of your favorite lenders, the mortgage industry has seen a reduction in costs and fees that they've been able to, to assign. Origination fees, for example, have significantly reduced and decreased over the years. It used to be kind of expensive. Now origination fees either are still in existence, but almost non-existent altogether. That's why like with Keller Mortgage, there are no origination fees. There's even credits at closing and that kind of stuff. And you'll find other companies doing the same thing. The idea is to streamline this process through a Keller Williams agent. That's the benefit of Keller Mortgage. They can only get a Keller Mortgage through a Keller Williams agent. That's the first step in trying to streamline this process while protecting your commissions and still meeting the consumer demand at the same time. So keep in mind, that's just an example of what's to come and where we're seeing that pressure, we're just alleviating the pressure to protect the agent's business because you are the one who ultimately commands and even decides who people are doing business with and helps support those industries as a whole. So I hope you'll keep that in mind as you move forward, be very mindful about your business partners that you move forward with and who you're doing business with and what is it going to take to streamline this business and make it easier for you. I'll tell you right now, if you're with KW, you're in the right place because Everything that we're rolling out is to make sure it protects your agent's commissions. Anyhow, stick around. Got some final thoughts coming next.